In this slide, we will review the popular hyperscalers or CSPs in the cloud computing market. As most of us know, the major players in the market are AWS from Amazon, Azure from Microsoft, and GCP from Google. Together, these three CSPs make up of the majority share of the overall cloud computing market. Other noteworthy CSPs include Alibaba, which is a CSP based in China, but now operates data centers in lots of other world geographies, IBM, and Oracle. One important point to note is that not all hyperscalers are the same. The specific CSP one chooses depends on a number of factors. Some of those include the following. The types of services. Although at a basic level, a number of services provided by the CSPs are similar, such as storage or compute services, but a number of those services can differ. For example, one CSP may allow better options to integrate with an organization's on-premises environment than the other depending on the tools and integration options available. Not all CSPs can commit to the same performance metrics and service level agreements. That may differ based on their internal capabilities. So an organization's choice of a specific CSP would depend on the services needed and any specific business requirements regarding the need for any level of performance that they may require from the cloud provider. Another key consideration usually is the geographies where the CSP operates and has data centers. For example, anyone deciding for a particular CSP will need to check the proximity of the data center of the CSP to ensure that their specific applications can be accessed easily by themselves and their customers. CSPs can also differ in how their infrastructure and other services that they provide would integrate with the organization's infrastructure, its applications, etc. In a world that's moving to a hybrid computing environment comprising of internal data centers and cloud providers, this factor is quite essential to consider. CSPs can also differ on the different levels and quality of management that they provide when managing their services. For example, one service provider may provide an easier way to its users to manage how they provision infrastructure services, how they scale them, how they're charged, etc. Another consideration is that of CSPs having specific regulatory certifications. Most cloud providers are trying to comply with various regulations, which makes it easier for customer organization CIOs to assess their risks in moving to such providers. Some of these regulations include PCI, HIPAA, FedRAMP, SOX compliance, and others. Depending on each organization's business, compliance with these regulations may be important. For example, a healthcare organization in the U.S. may require a CSP to be compliant with HIPAA regulations. In summary, we can say that one of the challenges for a solutions architect when devising digital solutions is that of the choice of a particular CSP.